Shadeen. I'm in my early 30s and for the past year I've been in a relationship with the most wonderful man. I often struggle with vaginismus and once he is inside, certain positions really hurt. Is there anything that we can do to try and overcome this? First of all, what is vaginismus? Yeah, so vaginismus is an involuntary tightening of the vagi uh, vaginal, vaginal muscles. Uh, and so it can make sex really painful or uncomfortable, mm -hmm. penetrative sex in particular. And what should this woman do? Yeah, and so there are a number of things. Um, if the vaginismus is tied to experiences of trauma, right, so our bodies can react uh, to trauma by sort of closing off, shutting down. It's a protective response and or anxiety, right? So I'm feeling really emotionally overwhelmed. I'm feeling uh like there's some form of danger or pressure right. to have sex even right. sometimes yeah. right um that 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 can trigger some of that involuntary contraction and so doing the relational or emotional work uh, around that might help sort of settle the reactions in the body um but if it's you know purely physiological there are some products that can be really helpful uh one that i really love to recommend to folks is the o-nut and so it's like a silicone sleeve. They're in the shape of rings and they are stackable such that they act as a sort of buffer for penetration. So if you think about if this is anything that could be inserted, so a finger, a penis, a toy, the O-nut goes over top and stacks in rings such that the depth of penetration is lessened, right? Because the contraction that's painful is typically just on the inside. So like the first sort of two or three inches, right? And so you can get inside for a lot of folks, some folks it's so painful, right? Actually penetration at all is a no-go, but to make it more shallow can make sex more comfortable right? for a person whose body might be spasming or seizing. So it's not the entrance, it's actually further inside that virginismus often... so it it can be at at any point right it's it's going to be towards the entrance towards the entrance so some folks can and where does the owner where's the owner the owner mm -hmm. is going to be on the penetrating object so penis toy and is it on the top or on the bottom so you the... push it down towards the base and then you stack them until you're at the desired sort of depth of penetration so for partners who are wearing this if this is a, a penis right that it feels re it can feel really comfortable it's not it's not tight for most folks mm -hmm. and feels like being inside fascinating so you have the owner so that's one thing you like what is another product that you like because uh, I feel like this is something mm -hmm. I've heard of a million times from women and they don't know why and their gynecologists don't know why. What are some other things that help? Uh, pelvic floor therapy can be helpful for some folks. Um, working with a PT that specializes in vaginismus or sexual or pelvic pain um, can be a really great way to learn some tools or techniques. Um, but again, the the spasming is involuntary and truthfully, we don't really know always what is causing it. Uh, there is some new research around CBD uh, that might be helpful. I know once upon a time folks were using um, like numbing agents. And for me that, yeah, the, the face is also <laughs> my feelings. Uh, I, I worry about numbing your body parts for something like penetration because then you can't tell like what's happening and you want to be able to feel if something is off mm -hmm. or, or uncomfortable. Um, but there is some promising research around CBD. Um, as in that, to use it as a lubrication? or to Yeah, just... that, that might be able to sort of lessen that quick firing. Um, most of the research has been about like topical. Um, so like creams or ointments or lube containing CBD. Um, folks are starting to think about what like vaping or smoking or tinctures might do to like relax the body overall. Things are inconclusive, but I say it just so that folks know that progress pe is on the way. Pe people are still are still interested in yeah, it. Yeah, and, and that you are one of many, many people. I'm sure you must hear about this all the time. Yeah, you know, folks often feel like they're the only one but mm. it's it's common and they carry so much shame around it it's the same with men who cannot you know attain an erection mm -hmm. or maintain an erection oh yeah yeah dear shadeen 
I'm 26 years old and I've never been in a relationship or even had feelings for someone in that way. I'm starting to think that I won't ever be comfortable enough to let anyone in like that. I'm confused if I'm even capable of those feelings. Is this normal? So what this person might be describing is some form of asexuality, right? Acknowledging that I haven't felt that before and I don't know if they're feeling pressured to feel that. I know that we live in a culture that really... Uh, centers relationships as like a developmental milestone that like the point at which you like have your first crush or have your first you know romantic partner or like get married also all the music and all the films and right. all the media and all the magazine and the advertisements are parents all... friends it's everywhere yeah. it's everywhere this expectation that we're all supposed to like buddy up and like do and we're that in complete forever alone. Yeah. right and so you know if this person you know, were to cancel out all of, like, the messages, do they feel good and comfortable with who they are and sort of the way they live their life? And if the answer is yes, then my hope for them would be that they would be able to honor that. And if they're really feeling called to, no, I, that's something that I, I really want, I really want to experience, right, then I would encourage them to think about small ways that they could even just expand their relationship network it doesn't have to be immediately romantic or romantic at all right what would it be like to be vulnerable with another person who might develop into like a close friend right that they had asked part of the question was about you know opening myself up and and really being able to connect with someone on a certain level and that doesn't have to be romantic. about a romantic partnership <laughs>